All right, so I wanted to make this little follow-up video to adjusting the speed controller and the governor, the manual governor. One thing that I didn't even talk about because I didn't know it at the time was the screw right here. Um, I had looked quickly at mine and saw the wire through it and going over to where it's supposed to be tied off here on the engine block. But when I looked closer at it, after still having some slight issues with adjustment, um, noticed that this was tamper with and that wire was cut. So I moved it all out of the way and I got some measurements from the people on the steel soldiers forms and tweaked it a little bit and I'm, I'm running pretty decent now. Um, so that is there and you can see in relation, there's the one I talked about in the other video. Um, my measurement from where the bottom of the nut is touching the engine block out to the tip of the adjustment area was 0.937 inches. And my measurement on this top one here is 0.7908 inches. I use a digital dial caliper to measure the height. Um, on this one, uh, the two examples that I got from the Steel Soldiers form is they had 0.793 and 0.765. So I'm pretty close to that range. And then on the bottom one, they had 0.89 and 0.90. So I'm pretty darn close to what they had. Um, I'm running pretty good. The next thing I wanted to talk about was on that second step of the procedure... What it was talking about when I was talking about um, saying it wasn't that important, the reason why it, it didn't seem like it was doing anything for me is what you want to adjust is the length of this. So it's pretty darn close to when you move it all the way out to the top of where the throttle is. You can see on mine, it just jumps out very little bit, but the instructions say almost. Um, because then what you need to do is do what I talked about and get that 5 16 gap between the target and the magnet. Very, very important. Um, the last thing that I wanted to touch that I had talked about that I was slightly wrong on is I have this removed right now, but on your B and A where you're taking all the voltage readings from or your Hertz, this is actual true RPM measured off of the, uh, the the generator head on the motor. It's not what the controller thinks the RPM should be. That, that That's kind of what I thought it was, is this puts out a voltage to command um, that to be at a certain RPM. That's not the case. This is your true RPM coming off of the engine. Um, the reason why I have this removed is not because it wasn't working, but it's because I switched to the aftermarket one that I talked about. And I'm going to put a separate video up about that. Um, there's nothing, like I said, there's nothing wrong with this one. I just wanted the ease of not worrying about adjusting this anymore.